We started in 1977. Commercial mm -hmm. whiskey in South Africa started in 1977. So our industry is 41 years old. Uh, 42 now, we're just into 2019. So it's a very young industry. And we always used to have a, a small experimental distillery in Stellenbosch called R&B, Robertson mm -hmm. Buxton Distillery. And that's where we started with whiskies uh, in 1977 when we launched Three Ships. And Three Ships was really just the select, the one which we got in the, uh, in the cocktail. Um, that was the only variant we had right up until 1992. But after I came back from Scotland in the late 80s, and you know, the company tasked me then to improve the quality of our whiskey and also the quantity of whiskey which we were producing. So what we did was we closed down the small distillery R&B in Stellenbosch and we moved the activities here to, to Wellington, to the James Cedric Distillery. The company had enough capacity to our other brandy distilleries. Uh, so we featured this one and we said, okay, we're going to turn this into a whiskey distillery. And yeah, since 1991, this has been the home of South African whiskey. Uh, we are still the only commercial whiskey distillery on the continent of Africa. That means, you know, producing whiskey, which is available in every town, every city, most mm -hmm. bottle stores, um, also producing by the legislation of what is whiskey. The South African legislation is almost to the word the same as what it is in Scotland. So, uh, you know, there's no shortcuts. We have to work with water, grains, and yeast. And uh, yeah, the only commercial distillery on the continent. That's you know, quite spectacular if you think about it. Absolutely. And what makes this distillery, distillery also a little bit different is that you know it is one of the few in the world which actually does malt and grain uh, spirits for, for whiskey on the same premises as well. Mm -hmm. Loch Lomond in, in Scotland is known for that.